I'm Taylor Zakar Perez, and I'm going undercover on the internet. This is actually me. First up, Twitter. Jenny said, wait, Joey King and Taylor Zakar Perez are actually dating in real life? Exclamation, 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 question mark. <laughs> Okay, let me process that with four A's, a sad face, and a heart. Joey King and I are not dating. I love her dearly, but no, we are not dating. We might take trips together, but no. Next question. Where has the world been hiding hashtag Taylor Zakar Perez and how did Netflix find him? Like, damn. Thank you very much for that comment. That's um, made my day. Thank you. And they found me because I auditioned for them like a hundred times. So they finally said yes. So thank you, Netflix. I appreciate you. And Vince, the director, and Michelle, I mean, and Joey. My God, back to Joey. That's why you guys think we're dating because we talk about each other all the time. All right, I won't talk about her anymore. I don't do Twitter, I'm not on Twitter. I don't think I've ever tweeted anything. I feel like Twitter's a dark place, so uh, I try to stay out of there. <laughs> I'm a pretty happy person. I don't need anyone on Twitter to bring me down, all right? All right, YouTube. Love me some YouTube. I had an interview with MTV. Jesslyn says, he was born on Christmas? WTF, I'm in love. Jesslyn, I hate to burst your bubble, but I was born on Christmas Eve. Many hours from Christmas Day, but I was sent home in a Santa Claus suit. So that was exciting. I was a very ugly baby, like I'm not gonna lie. I was red, like beet red. And when my mom shows pictures of me to people or friends, I get really embarrassed because I was not a cute baby. There's a lot of cute babies out there. I was not one of them. Sorry, mom. Moving on. Aditi said, the fact that he's read all the Harry Potter books and he's so passionate about them makes him 10 times more attractive, LOL. No, LOL, I love Harry Potter. All the books, I've read them all twice. I'll read them again. I'll challenge you to read them again. I love Harry Potter. What a world, what a world to be in. Like that special effects were at that level when I was a kid that I got to experience like the real Harry Potter. I feel like everyone thinks they should be in Gryffindor just cause I've taken many tests I've eaten all the Birdie Bots ivory flavored beans and they put the sorting hat on my head and it said Gryffindor as well. So, you know, I didn't just like choose it. It chose me. <laughs> I have a wand, yeah. Moving on, Flozzy. Is it just me or does Taylor and Jacob low key look alike? Cause it's been bothering me so much cause I see it. 1.9 thousand likes. Where are my dislikes at? I mean, I'll take it. He's a handsome guy, you know? Thank you. But low key, we look alike. I will say I've done like a, a comparison with a photographer friend of mine because he just stares at faces all day. And we just put our hands on the face, different parts, and we, we landed that maybe this part of us looks the same, the eyes and the eyebrows. I guess L. Evans has a type. <laughs> I, I guess I'm like the browner version of Jacob. <laughs> I don't know. All right, on the trailer. This is a lot of consonants next to each other. I can't pronounce this name. Maybe it's her name backwards. Hold on. Amos. It's awesome backwards. Okay, never mind. With an N. Awesome and but but front ways. Wait, let me get this straight. You want me to watch the Kissing Booth 2 all alone, stuck at home with no one to kiss? Netflix, why? Why tempt me so? Two crying faces. <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. We should do live readings of YouTube comments because that'd be pretty hysterical. I'm really sorry that you have no one at home to watch this with. I think there's Zoom parties, house party. You can you could do that. Maybe I'll Skype you. Is Skype still a thing? I don't know. I'll Zoom you and we can watch it together and we could talk all about it. But we'd have to fast forward to minute 20 because that's when I get in there. And you know, it's like, who wants to watch the first 20 minutes of that, right? Replied. All right, this is my favorite platform. Let's, let's move over to Instagram. Instagram's a, a bit of a kinder, kinder place. <laughs> okay, so I posted this video and I said, text me, right? It, it, it's Chloe. Wait, does he actually end up answering? And the answer is yes, I do. I, I mean, I'll show you on, on my phone right now. I'm gonna tell you how many people have texted me. 110,078 people have texted me. You know what, since we're here, there's some birthdays today. So let's take a selfie. It's like major cheese, but you know, I'm gonna use this photo and say, happy birthday. We are filming a GQ segment and I wanted to share the love. Hi. Let's see what that does. 
we'll check back in. To Chloe, to answer your question, I do end up answering, maybe it was your birthday today, and I just said happy birthday. I hope it was, that'd be cool. Yes. Oh, okay. This is the picture of me and my dog, Jack. It's your girl, Lodi, wants to know his name. I guess I just spoiled it. Uh, it's Jack. He's the best. He goes everywhere with me. I just went surfing with him the other day, paddleboarded for two hours, and he was stressed. He's, he's a water dog. I need to get him another life jacket. All right, let's see if anyone responded. They're quick. These, these folks are quick. Oh, okay, here we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm really excited, thanks. How did you know it's my birthday? Hi, thank you. Now I feel special, bro. You're welcome, Joseph. Thank you. Oh, can I have you for my birthday? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you can't. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna put this away. All right, next, IMDB. Ooh, all right. Taylor was a nationally ranked swimmer. True. I was, I swam for 10 years and I don't like swimming now. <laughs> Anytime I smell chlorinated water, it just like brings me back to 5 a.m. practices and I just never wanna go back there. But yes, I was nationally ranked, state champion, loved it while I was there, loved all my friends. He began his journey in opera houses performing musical theater at an early age, which ultimately led him to pursue his film and television career. That is also true. Yeah, I did like local theater stuff. I did opera houses. For some reason, when I see this as his journey in opera houses, like I feel like I'm a, you know, like in the olden days when those horses and buggies would come to town and then you just put all your stuff out and you like do a song and dance. That's what I feel like <laughs> this is saying, his journey in opera houses. But yeah, that was it. It was fun. You know, it's like, what do you do after you're in theater in your community? It's like, you just want to like level up in a way. So like I went to the Chicago and auditioned there and worked a little bit there and then moved to Los Angeles moved to New York, moved back to Los Angeles, and I think I'm gonna stay in Los Angeles. Submit. Quora. Is that how you say it? Quora. Who is hotter, Taylor Lautner or Taylor Zakar Perez? <laughs> These are the sub sections. Taylor Lautner, actor. Hot guys, Hollywood actors, attractive men, Hollywood actors and actresses, plus five more. Uh, can, I, can I answer it? There's a, there, I, if I sign in as someone else, I could probably answer this question, but I just feel like that's not right. That's, that's, that's not nice. Taylor Lautner's also a handsome guy. Jacob Elordi, you know, like, I guess I'm in good company. So thank you, whoever asked that question. I think these are anonymous, so you got away this time. I grew up watching Taylor Lautner. I thought the funniest thing was um, Shark Boy and Lava Girl. That was an interesting one, yeah. All right, another one. Is Netflix making a Kissing Booth 3? That's a good one. You know, that's like a little less invasive. Yes. I'm just, I, I feel like that came off really um, aggressive. I'm sorry. Yes, we are making Kissing Booth 3. We actually made it last year. We kind of had to fib about it, which was really hard. I really enjoyed filming the third one and I can't wait for you guys to watch it. And I don't want to get sued, so I'm not going to say anything more. Next. Oh, another Quora. Do you think that Elle should have ended up with Noah or Marco in the Kissing Booth 2? Come on, this is all you got? No, I'm just kidding. I definitely think that he and Elle should have wound up together. I mean, Marco's just a great guy. You know, he's, he's cool, he's an artist, musician, he's a nice guy. I mean, nice guys are cool, you know? Your parents want you to bring home nice guys, especially at 17, 18 years old. So I would say Marco. But I guess the heart wants what it wants. Okay, Reddit. Now this is where it gets, uh, a little scary. The Kissing Booth 2 discussion. Okay, discuss the movie here. From Gluten Free Waffles with a Z. Can we talk about the cheating situation between Elle and Noah? Did Noah emotionally cheat on Elle with Chloe? Was Elle actually the cheater because she kissed Marco? What are your thoughts? I wanna know. First, I wanna say thank you, Gluten Free Waffles, for saying that Elle kissed Marco because that's a big deal. You know, I think it's a, a huge deal that she, yes, had a boyfriend that she may not have been in love with anymore and might have been falling in love with Marco. So a kiss could have been warranted, you know what I mean? But regardless, still cheating. After I watched the, the first movie, honestly, I didn't think that Noah and Elle would stay together since he was going to college. So good for you, Noah, for, for having some self-control. Yes, like she clearly cheated on Noah with Marco, but I'm not mad at it. You know, I think that's really, I think that was a, a smart choice. <laughs> Next, Kissing Booth 23. Am I the only one who thinks she should end up with Lee? No, you're not. 
I think she should end up with Lee too. I love Lee and I love Joel Courtney. He's the best. I've been rooting for Lee since the first movie. Okay, when we're at the lunch table and I say to Lee, like there, there's no way she's gonna wanna do it. He says yes, but then he does this thing where he's like, and then like this fun music starts. Like how can you not love Lee in that moment? He's just like a golden retriever and he should have everything. He should have all the ladies because I just, I love him. All right, that's it. That was weird. All right, that's it. I am signing off the internet. Check me out in Kissing Booth 3. I don't know when it comes out. You're gonna have to ask Netflix, but uh, I hope I answered some of your questions, so cool. I do that a lot. It means hang loose. It's just, it's like second nature to me now.